It's not mild. Out of there, guys and gals. Today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can prevent your clapped out dodge from making flammable dirt inside your barn, which essentially is just one giant box of kindling. If you guessed that this would be a simple maintenance video, you would be right. Not a lot of action can happen today. As you all saw in the previous episode, I got the old Ram charger running again, and, and it's doing a really good job of uh, making flammable dirt underneath it. Of course, that's just my way of saying that it's dumping gasoline into the dirt, which was quickly determined to be uh, this conglomerate of old fuel lines and or a filter, possibly a fuel pump. Now I went to the auto parts store to pick up a tried and true mechanical fuel pump for a small block Chrysler and would you believe it? They didn't have one in stock. They would actually have to order it. Fun fact also, do you know that they didn't even have fuel line in bulk in stock? Yeah. Bulk fuel line is not in stock. So since they didn't have a mechanical fuel pump, I'm going to replace the hoses and that fuel filter and see if it stops dumping gasoline underneath the old Ram Charger. Cause the thought of uh, lighting the ground underneath me on fire and current fuel prices leads me to believe that I should probably address this rather quickly. So this is what I'm left with to fix this thing. I had to buy a bunch of two foot long prepackaged fuel line, which those are the only sizes they had, and a good old MicroGuard fuel filter. Let's get the old one out and spray it on down and see if that's the issue. Honestly, the more and more I look at this, it just looks like this fitting on the fuel pump is actually leaking. And not the actual hoses. Well, maybe that one on the other side is leaking. Either way, you know, maintenance. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to replace all this and see if it makes a difference. You know you're going to have a good day when you find the tools you think you need scattered amongst all the other garbage on the ground and not in your very well unorganized. Yeah, I found these in the leaves over there and in the junk over there. Oh, I'm definitely not going to spend hours and hours doing this today purely because I can't find anything. Part of the course. Oh, there's nothing better than trying to remove really old miscellaneous different sizes of hose clamps off a very well saturated engine. I don't even think that one's loosening. I think it's stripped. Fantastic. Yeah, that one... Oh no, it's loosening. It's just not loosening on the hose. You know, I'm going to have to talk to DW about how he installed this last time. Pretty sure he did a fuel filter like about 10 years ago on this thing. That hose clamp strip too. Fantastic. Oh, you know, those hoses are uh, very hard on there. Remember to always use the right tool for the job or a broken tool because you can't find the right tool. Now most y'all probably would have said I uh, just cut the hose and then rip off the leftover. I semi have a method to my madness here. Damn, what do they do? Glue this thing on? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, now I really smell that very old gas in the tank. Ah, finally. There we go. Oh, yep. Making some more of that flammable dirt. Hey, pro tip, just so y'all know, gasoline does not cure your arthritis. Now, this camera has moved a billion different ways. Just so y'all can watch me struggle to take some hoses off, because if you're watching this for a how-to tutorial, and you're worse off than I am. Because technically, in all honesty, um, I really don't have my camera right there so y'all could watch me struggle with hoses. Uh, it's mainly there because there's a flashlight on it. So I can see what I'm doing because I lost my uh, other flashlight. So y'all can just enjoy the show. And we can all question where the actual 
rotted line is because uh, so far the only wet place I see that could be leaking is here. Well, if it didn't reek of gas before, it definitely does now. Y'all can't see all the uh, shiny and sparkly. Um, we'll make it clear that this uh, this engine will never rust. It is uh, well marinated in anti-rusting products. Oh, that uh, might be some leakage there. Let's clean it off and find out. Well, the only thing we do is replace the hoses and uh, see what leaks. Well, luckily the gas does not look horrible. Look closely. There is a small chance that uh, one of these hoses was leaking, probably on the connection. Well, I don't know. I don't see any holes. Maybe it was uh, tightened too much. And it just split. Who knows? Let's just replace it and uh, see if she still runs. No idea if any of this hose is the right size. Because I bought what they had. I'm just going to make it work. Oh, yeah, these are... Great professional cuts. Definitely perfectly straight. Won't leak at all. Oh, glad I bought so much hose I didn't need. Now, just to hook all that to that. Oh, wait. Even though there didn't look to be anything completely wrong, maybe except that part there, we're going to come do one of these. I just really, really hope that there was this bad connection on one of these. Just a side note. You know your racing program is going fantastically when your race car turns into a workbench. Improvements could be made. But currently, this is all this car is good for. Plus, I don't have to worry about scratching the paint. But that's definitely because this is the fastest four-door, eighth-mile car around and dominates the track, and puts people on the trailer and goes rounds. It has nothing to do that it's possibly the slowest stroker that can barely get out of the eights. No, no, no. This is definitely a championship car, not a very underwhelming stroker car. So I like to uh, make sure to buy new hose clamps and everything. Um, I'm hoping I have enough to do this. I've had good luck and bad luck with these. Uh, sometimes they strip out immediately, and other times they clamp perfectly. We'll find out. reason I like this clamp style just a little bit better is uh, it doesn't have all these ribs where the worm gear here tightens off, so it's less likely to pinch the hose. Then again, these are so cheaply made, uh, they strip out real quick right there. Crap, they've got all these measurements in Canadian. Oh good, they've got a translation tool on the back so I can um, translate which one goes where. Of course, why would I have enough to do all this? Those are probably too big. These will fit just right. We'll see how it goes. I know the internet's full of opinions. Uh, what are your all thoughts of these clamps versus the uh, little ratchet radiator style, whatever you call them, worm gear clamps you all use? You know you want to leave your opinion in the comment section. And there's nothing else to do during this video. Might as well start ranting and raving about the cheap parts I bought. Or, even better yet, how many of y'all want to go on a rant about Parts not being at the auto parts store in the comment section. Feel free. Leave all your opinions. I'm right there with you. Look, don't look at this as you wasting your time watching a video of me replacing hoses and a fuel filter. Look at this as more of a, you're holding the flashlight for me and I'm not yelling at you. So it's almost like I'm giving you that automotive experience that uh, you never got with your dad. Because I'm pretty sure he probably yelled at you to hold that flashlight right. Don't worry. I won't yell at y'all. Unless somehow you turn the flashlight off. Well, at least I got it in there. And y'all got one of those 
piece of crap ratchets that um you know when it doesn't have at least a lot of torque on it doesn't want to ratchet it just stays stuck yeah that's one of these it you know just makes up its mind when it wants to work really really inconvenient hey just in case if your father never told you you are doing a real good job holding that flashlight real good job and honestly if you you are still watching this video you're committed and you deserve a pat on your back now i can't do that for you but you know it's the thought that counts Ah, the moment y'all been waiting for. Does basic maintenance pay off? Let's see how bad it leaks. Yes, I actually put it on a battery charger. Fortunately, I'm going to have to return this because it's not mine. But uh, I can't see anything. I'm gonna need y'all to hold the flashlight for me again if you could. I don't see any leaks. I mean, there's obviously a lot of oozing happening from these valve covers for sure. Let's let this thing warm up and uh, see if there's any other problems. And see if, you know, that pump starts leaking. Just in case. Hey, it's not smoking near as bad today. Well, it doesn't appear that the old Ram Charger is making any more of that flammable dirt underneath it. So that's a plus. Stick around, because there's many more exciting videos of doing maintenance on this thing so I can drive it down the road. Yeah, like windshield wiper motors, electric window motors. Why does the transmission leak so bad? Hey, at least there's a donkey. Uh -huh.